Bye folks, this is lesson 97 and uh, I thought we'd do a another quickie with, with western brushes and, and mops and that so we, we'll see where we go with this this is sort of a, a mountain stream if you like uh, the colours are winter blue red shade quite changed from that because we use ultramarine last time usually burnt umber and raw sienna so three colours to start with, then we'll add little bits in as we need it. Okay, that's the colours out of the way, let's go for it. I can go over there. And this is our, 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 our sketch, I've sketched out a, a little bit of a, a stream here coming through the, through the hills and that. And then a, a nice sky, a boy, a nice sky, just a general sky. But the, the focal point is, is, is obviously around these, these rocks and that here in the stream. So uh, I've used some masking fluid on the face of the rocks because the light's coming from the from the left or my left shoulder if you like so on these faces uh, I've put some masking fluid now this masking fluid is, is I usually put it up with my finger but but a couple of kind ladies in, in California near Los Angeles sent me a, a nice gift and, and, and including this gift was was a something I'd, I'd never seen before but in, in America it's it's a it's a, a rubber a razor for getting off masking fluid and stop wearing your thumbs down your fingers so I, I can't wait to start wait using it we'll see how that goes so okay so that's what's what's what, that's what that is nice little bit of kit that right so off we go we'll start with the sky like i usually do clean water let's uh uh not not all of it just just generally That'll do. And I see we're on, we're on winter blue, winter blue red shade on this one to start with. A bit stronger than that. It's not strong enough for me. That's better. Lovely blue this, by the way. And then instead of introducing the alizarin crimson to the base, I want to introduce some of the wizard red shade and some burnt umber mixed together. And we'll introduce that into the base here. Around this, this, this sort of stuff. I'll just mix it. Such a stronger mix, so it's it's showing up better. That's better. That's what I want. And then just gently. Pull this out as I go towards the horizon. So it's a nice, it's a softer sky at the bottom. Of course, it's running now because I work at 15 degrees, as you know. Let's put a bit of twiddle on that and make this cloud look a bit nicer. Light from the left. Stop fiddling. Bit of a dark on that side of the cloud because it's facing against the sky. Now this this is cheap paper I'm using, and, and I don't knock it. It's just that uh, what happens is when I put water onto that, it it, it 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 tends to cockle like that and gives you channels in it, which I don't like. But I'm stuck with it, so that that's a piece of paper I've got. And that's the paper we we using. So uh, I always. Uh, Ask people if, if they can afford a little bit better paper, use it, and the, their painting will improve as well. So that that's 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 me my sermon over for today. So th there we are. We're, we're, we're skies there, and it, it's done. And I think well, while we're at this, I think I might as well just put in, if I can. Uh, I'll put 
putting some of this water here. And not too not too pretty. It's got a so there's some just a mountain stream. It, it could be anywhere. Well, that, that, we're not in Norfolk because there's no mountains, but. Uh, but uh, anyway, where there's some mountains, and the, the, of course the streams rush down, and then then it runs into the rivers below, making big rivers, doesn't it? Bits of dark into there. Trying to keep the water flat or level, I should say. Because we don't want it running uphill, do we? Now I want to put in one or two distant hills uh, using the same colours and put some. Some of this colour, this is the uh, burnt umber and the uh, winds blue red shade. I'll just put a test on that, see if we see what like. I'd like to test it. That should be alright. And, and let's put in a, a distant hill here, just. That immediately gives it, gives it a bit of depth. And what I can do is on that next hill, put the same colour in again, and then go over it twice. So it's there's a hill just here. We'll go over this. It's, it's a bit smooth for what I usually work with this paper, but uh, as I say, it, it, it it's a, a lesson. It's it's a. Uh, how to pair with different papers and what have you and, and, and different colours and different brushes so th these are sort of quite interesting brushes these right now what I can do is this this one here this is there's a, a sort of a mountain here and then one in front of it so what we want to do is make sure that this mountain in front of it comes in front of it so it's, it's got to be in front of that background mountain and the way we can do it is put more colour onto it in other words, it'll look as though it's closer to us. That's that's the way you do it. So let's make sure. I'm hoping it's dried a bit. That looks, so let, let's put this one in here. So well, this one is in front of that one there. Now I've got a funny blob there, so that's also, that's also incorporated in that mountain somehow, because I've got it wrong. But that's what, what, what land, watercolour landscapes is all about. If you get things wrong, you, you're thinking ahead and think, I'm going to put that right, because you're never sure. <laughs> you're never, never sure, I'll tell you. So let's, uh, let's go again for this. Uh, more winter blue red shade. I'm going to darken it with the burnt umber again, get it nice and dark. And, but this time it's going to be stronger than that one. So this is our, our, our next hill down here. And this is this is it's, it's a strong tone. This one, like this look. And this is the same colours, but but less water. So look, look at it that way. It's going straight down to here and it'll come across that one and come down to that one there. And then that'll come down to here. Nice and strong. Now 
you've got to be careful not to let the edge dry as, you, as you're doing this because uh, we get you get ripples on it and stuff like that. Now the bottom I wanted to soften slightly, so I'm just going to put in just a touch of water in there just to soften this this bottom line. And put some movement into that hillside. Right, that's another hillside. Now we'll put this one in. Now and bring, keep bringing it forward. This will be stronger and nearer to us, so it'll, it'll start having some browns in this one because it's closer. So let's let's. Using the same colours again, but, but leaning more towards the, 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 the burnt umber this time. You see, it's got to be more prominent than the, than the Windsor Blue. It takes on a, on a, a brownie tinge as opposed to a bluey tinge. And that's a strong colour, that Windsor Blue, so you, 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 you've got to go, go with that burnt umber really to, to, to make, it, make it work. <coughs> Let's try this. See how we go. Looks a bit watery. That I think I'll, I'll make it a bit more, a bit stronger. Just to... now. This is our hillside here. Let me incorporate that little that, that dodgy bit. Remember that dodgy bit? Let's incorporate that into it, shall we? That's it. We've we've lost it now. That'll come down to the water's edge, this one. In fact, it's not, it, it's not dark enough for me at the top there, so what I will do, I'll, I'll put a bit more juicy, juicy winter, winter blue red shade onto that and make it more, more dark on the, on the crest here like this. That's better. Get up some. This brush is all right, you know. As long as you, as long as you don't let <laughs> let it work on its own. Get that under the water's edge. I'll get some of that lighter colour coming into this here, so it's not as strong. Linking this together, I think I want to introduce a touch of raw sienna into this, just a touch, because I want it to start looking greeny, if you like, just here. Take the well off, I'll put it down there. And, uh, and and this one here, this one will be, will be a similar colour to that, but not, not in your face, you know, it, it's a, it's a Kevin, uh, sorry, a raw sienna, but it's going to have a touch of uh, winter blue in there. Let's see what we get. It should be a, a sort of a miserable green. You can call it that. I suppose you can, really. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. And this, this, this green stuff comes down this hillside here, like this. Look. It's a foreground green. So 
So all, all, all we've done really is, is tried to create a perspective, or aerial perspective as they call it, by with colour. And we've used the palest colours there, that distance, then stronger here, stronger there, stronger on this hillside here, and then some green introduced down to here, and then green on this piece because it's nearest to us up in, in, in fact the, the lot of it. So let's see how we go now. Some bits of dark in here as well. I don't, it's not pretty. Right, now I've got some rocks here. Right, now the magic test with this. I'm supposed to save my fingers. Thank you, ladies. Look at that. Hey, whoa, hey, that fits you tough, doesn't it? Look at it, magic. Oh, yes. Our fingers to die for now. Look at them. A bit on this one here. Look at that. Thank you, lady. That's just a bit special. That stuff. This is all off my fingers in one place. Lovely. Now then, let's get all that off. A bit more there to get rid of that. Right now, to paint some of these rocks, uh, they're, I want them to be a, a grey colour. So I'm going to mix some of that grey colour. I want some winds of blue there. I've got to try and mix one that that, uh, that I like first. It's, 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 here again, it's experiment. You've got to experiment when you're painting, folks. It's, it's not just easy to dip in that pot and dip in that pot and it works. You, you make it so that it, it works for you. Well, this is, there's rocks all over actually. But uh, the, the, the front face, the, the light's coming from top top left here. So we've got to make some of these rocks be be quite... The colour, but the, not, as, not as strong, so that the colour over there... Still a bit, uh, not the colour I want. Well, that blue is better. I just had some more, more winter blue red shade in. Some under this. This one here. I'm just giving them a flat colour first to start with. I'm trying to make these not difficult, so even as a beginner, you, you can tackle this because it's it's not it's not a difficult one. If you do it in 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 stages, don't don't try and do everything at once. Start at the back, work your way forward. You'll be fine. Right now, that's that's that basic colour on those to start with. Lift some of that colour out there. The light is from the from the front there. Just lifting some of that colour out. Where well, it's catching the light.
You see this brushes flopping about all over the place, but uh, but it's, it's it's doing the job. I shouldn't I shouldn't complain. So those rocks are not, not as dark now. Clean water and tap. See if I can lift a bit of colour out of there. Catching some of the the water, uh, the the light colours in the sky. I can lift this out. Soften that back end. Soften that one. See how we go with that. Put some marks in the water there to where the water flows. It could flow down a little bit, bit of a, a bank there, couldn't it? Just here. Some ripples in it. Right, let's just start with that. Right, I want to sort of uh, emphasize these rocks a bit more now, uh, the, the the shape of them. So I wanted a, a real dark now. And that's the, the two colours I've, I've used is, is the burnt umber and the winter of red chief. So we've only, we've only used these two colours apart from that little bit of uh, raw sienna down there. Dark down here, there's a lankrit as well. It's, it's, it's rocks that's it's coming, they're, they're scattered all over the place here. Starting to get some shape into these rocks. It's it's made a nice dough. This, this is this is uh, winter little red shade with burnt umber, and I put in some alizarin crimson in, in the end in the, 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 to add to it, and it's given me a nice dark. And uh, I've always said if you, if you haven't got a black on your palette, you need a black. You put you. What I usually mix is uh, ultramarine with burnt umber and alizarin crimson, and you'll get a, a really juicy black, you will, which is which is nice. I'll have a crack down this one, I think, down there. Against the light. Take this. Down, oh, 
to this dark theme up here a little bit like that. And I want to put more some more rocks in this water as well. Uh, there's a nice light bit there, we'll put, put one in there. Water around it. Perhaps another one here. And a rock on this this piece here. on that and one or two little bits of dark up this here. I'm fiddling now. You, 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 I don't want to tell when I'm fiddling. So our focal point is this rock here. And whether I put a figure or not, I need to spot it. No, no, no. I'll stop messing about with that. I'll just uh, strengthen this, this green a bit. In places, you know, where there were the... Don't need down here. That brings that towards me. I'll have another strip just here as well. Because this is our, our nearest nearest bit of land, if you like. I suppose what we could get, it, I, I'm, 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 I'm talking to fiddle in here now. If I, I, I should introduce perhaps just a touch of... This might be fiddling, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Just a touch of sort of water as it flows over that, that edge there. Like a bit of a waterfall down that one. Some marks around that one, it's running around it. I want to down that. Down this water in the bottom here as well. So we've got a bit of a waterfall, well, it's a, just a ripple thing there, like that. Uh, what about some shadows? Touch it touch behind you where it's, where it's been shaded. You might get a reflection on that one. Bit of darks in this hillside here. I don't want to go, go mad with things like that, it's just, you might get the, I'm starting to fiddle now, but you might get the odd uh, grasses or something like that, just sticking up into the, into some of these rocks here, like this. Tufty stuff.
Don't forget, it, it, what it is, it's not, it's not a masterpiece. It's a, it's a quickie for you to do and to enjoy. If it goes right, it doesn't matter, does it? Severe fault in that rock there, like that. Nice to put a dodgy bit in in your main rock. Chiddly effect on that. Give that one some shape as well. So I said this is our focal point round here. This is all, all spear carrying. Two bits of Twiddle around here. I want it to look lonely. It's, it's not. Uh, it's not going to have any sort of icons and stuff like that. It's just. It's, it's it's a lonely, a mountain stream. Let's call it a mountain stream, shall we? And 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 I've done with it. Uh, I might sound crazy this, but. But my one of my old art teachers, he always said, when you're doing a painting, always put a spot of red in it somewhere. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a spot of red just here. That's all. And when people look at painting like that, they'll say, I wonder what that red is. I wonder what, and of course, the, the, the piece of red is it's whatever you wanted to see. Well, that's that's our quickie uh, for today, folks. It's, this is lesson 97. Uh, it's, a, called a, it's a mountain stream uh, with, with this scattering of rocks around it. And we'll, we'll, we'll just, I think, we'll, we'll, we'll drop a bit of a mount on it and make it tidy to it and see what it looks like. So roughly, roughly that, 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 that's what it looks like. That's your picture. So until next time, folks, uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like and subscribe. And I'll see you on Lesson 98. So until then, folks, it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.